Yeah, and that's honestly the way to do it. It's a shame that in red and blue you don't get experience share till pretty much the end of the game. Kind of sad. It would have been cool if you could have found that item early on. So, am I going to find any other Pokemon in this little space, or do I have to just, like, move on? No, the only other Pokemon that you're going to find is in the next space. So, if you go to the right there, uh, you'll be able to find Spearows. Right here? Yep. How do you know these things? I've played this game so much. Yeah, huh. you, you definitely... I think you... Like, between the two of us, I think you grinded this game out a lot more than I did. I think I've grinded every video game out a lot more than you, because I'm just... I literally live, eat, and breathe video games. It's just what I do. Not really any rhyme or reason to it. Yeah. Well, hey man, you know, if you're good at what you're good at, you know. I think, like, when I was younger, the reason why I played so many video games is because, you know, didn't have the, the best home life, and I got stressed real easy with, like, school, and, um, I don't know. Video games were just a, a easy way to kind of escape reality. Yeah. And it, it's funny because I didn't even know I was doing that, you know, until I got to about, like, 15, and I was like, well, that's why I play so much Halo 2. <laughs> oh, man, I'd say you had a pretty good home life. I had a lot of things. I, it was a safe home life. It was just a very stressful one. Yeah. And fuck this Pidgey. Blinding you're like, me. You're like twice its level. Yeah, I know, but... A couple of sand attacks, that's all it takes. That's all it takes. A little confusion ought to take care of that attitude. God damn it. It's like, I'm confused. Eat sand. Dude, your butterfree's fucking level like a son of a gun. Oh, yeah. I really like the way butterfree looks in this game. Like, when you're using him. Very soothing sprite to look at. So you're just trying to catch all the Pokemon, or what are you trying to do? Um, well, I'm grabbing a Spearow just because it's right here. But I'm also trying to level up Jigglypuff a little bit. You're gonna be able to level her up real fucking quick with the trainers in that moon. I probably wouldn't spend too much time uh, fighting wild Pokemon. Is Spearow the only other Pokemon I can I can get here? Yeah, it's just Spearow. Is there a Pokemon Center up here? That'd be really hot if there was. Oh yeah. Who's that guy? The little hat. Hey, look down at your uh, OBS. How many views does it say your channel's had? Um, where does it show that? Uh, it should be down at the bottom, right to the right of your chat, or right to the left of your audio capture stuff. Two hundred and eighty-seven. That's pretty good. I mean, you have. Um, 500. Wow. So you've had almost as many people view your channel as I have. I've been streaming like crazy, though. Well, I got my Magikarp. 
You should buy it? Yeah. Are you gonna use it? Uh, dude, Gyarados. I am totally power leveling that to a Gyarados. You're gonna get a Gyarados and show me up? Yeah, man. I decided not to go with the Gyarados. You decided that? Mm -hmm. Who decides not to go with the Gyarados? Are you crazy? Oh, I don't remember this map at all. <clears throat> all I remember is all the Zubats. All the Zubats. Dude, I, I saw a, um, like a little flash video, and somebody took one step into this cave, and all, all of a sudden, all these Zubats attacked. How dare you leech my life, jerk. Go ahead. Take one HP. I'm gonna throw Pokeball. I'm not actually gonna use the Zubat, because Golbat really is not that super great, but... No, but you wanna know what is super fucking great and really overpowered? Fucking Crobat in Gen 2. I'm pretty sure Crobat is the fastest Pokemon in Gen 2. Um, and it's got like really fucking good attacks that too. It's basically a power sweeper. Squishy as fuck, but super it's squishy. It's first attack off. Why is there a bug catcher in the cave? trying to find a Paris man. He heard there was a Paris in there and he's after it. Oh yeah, that's true. There are Paris in here. I've used Parasect before. It's, I don't know. It's lackluster. It's really not... It's really durable. Like, it's really tanky. But it can't really fire back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Paris is literally a utility Pokemon. Like, the only reason you use it is to poison something and uh, leech seed it and try to survive the fight. This cocoon, I don't know what's gonna hit it. Dude, you're gonna fucking one hit that shit. Yep. One hit. God. Jigglypuff just grew to level 6. Only a matter of time now. Fuck these two bats. Hey! Gonna piss off the Jiggly. You're really trying to power level that pump. I tried to run two or three times and it couldn't escape. So now I'm gonna melt this Zubat's face off because he wouldn't let me escape. Just like that. I get thrash next level. How would you do that? Apparently, confusion doesn't hurt Clefairy as much as I would have thought. Nope. And I got sung to. 
sang me the song of his people. Yeah, I gotcha. Oh, this is a trainer battle. I was the last right when you enter. Go so fucking level 14 for fairy. Yeah. Dude, that thing's pretty strong. Yeah, it's it's taken a beating. Did you see the Pokemon theory that uh Gengar is just a like shadow cliff fable, it's like an alternate reality cliff fable. Or like a dead cliff fable. You like a ghost of Cliff Fable that had died? Yeah. Yeah. Kinda looks like it, doesn't it? Sure does. I think that's what they were going for. I think there was some inspiration there, to be honest. Because it looks exactly like it. What an image. I gotta put this Zubat in the PC because I do not want it in my party. Don't hit on that Zubat. What do you got against Zubat? Everything. I need a level Nido King one more level so I can get a fucking attack that's finally worth using. I've been fucking tackling with Nido King for like fucking a year. Well, I took like one or two steps into this cave, and guess what? There's a Zubat attack. I think the Zubat was probably the closest drawn sprite in the original series to like the anime. What do you think? I don't know. Every time I see that a uh, trainer's about to use a Pidgey, I get fucking PTSD. It's like, here we fucking go. Right? <laughs> like, oh, let me guess, the first thing you're gonna do is sand attack. Oh, surprise, surprise. It's like, oh, let me guess where you go. Oh, another sand attack, yep. Oh, oh and oh, out. yeah, there it is, a third sand attack. I snuck up on the trainer. He looks like Mandark. Like a grown up version of Mandark? Yeah. And he's like on the ground, like he's like in some porno. I never understood what his fucking stance when he starts to fucking fight. Like. like, are you looking for a coin? Like, looking for your glasses because they're on your fucking face. Oh, I hope he doesn't hit me with an electric type move. Dynamite doesn't know any electric type moves. Maybe not at level 11. Jigglypuff's getting tough real fast. Right till she turns into a, Are you gonna turn her into a Wigglytuff right away? Yes. With the stone and mountain room? Uh, I think so, yeah. That seems like a good bet. I don't think I can catch Clefairy. Yeah, you can. I can or I can't? You can. I'm already level 9, and I learned Pound. Ah, I can do bats.
God, Zubats are so irritating. Butterfree's leveling real fast. Who's Stun Spore? Uh, buy String Shot. Nobody needs you. your rare candy yet? Yeah. You should have saved it. Rare candies are a waste at such an early level. You want to use it later when it takes a lot more experience to level up. I completely disagree. You disagree? What's your stance? I think that some Pokemon are literal pain in the ass to level, such as Magikarp. And early game is when you want to feed them as many rare candies as you can because if you can get them to Gyarados faster, then he'll be able to. You'll, a, the run will probably go faster, and B, uh, you'll be able to start leveling on his own instead of doing the switch, which takes a lot more time. I mean, it does take time, but if you do it during like times like in, in the cave, like I'm doing, um, it takes no time at all. It's like you know you're going to spend the time in the cave and there's going to be a lot of trainers. You might as well just do that, you know, during that time. Especially like when I get a face melter like Magikarp, it takes significantly, or sorry, a face melter like Butterfree. It takes significantly less time to level a Magikarp. Magikarp lays 1,000 eggs. That makes 1,000 more Magikarps. And each of those 1,000 Magikarps lay 1,000 more eggs. <laughs> That's... That's a billion Magikarps. Dude, that guy fucking sucker James. So fucking hard. <laughs> like, nobody wants Magikarps, especially that many. Like, what are you gonna do with that many Magikarps? Dude, when I was when I first started playing this game, I had always set the uh, battle set so it's set instead of switch, and I that was before I realized that if your Pokemon was out first, it would get that boost that boost experience. Yeah, that's such a noob mistake. You live and learn though. I mean, later in the game, when, you, when you're when you not doing that, like, you can change it midway through. Like, it's not so bad then. But if you're always trying to get that boost experience, you're gonna have a bad day. I feel like they put a lot of effort into making Starmie. Like, as far as, like, in the game, like, the artwork for him. Surprised he looks as good as he does, honestly. <laughs> Alright, there's the Cascade badge. And Zubats. So you might be a little bit ahead of me right now, but I think later, uh, because of what I did for grinding early on, will pay off and I'll catch up faster. You think so? Yep. You think you're gonna blow past me? I don't know if I'll blow past you, but I'll catch up. why Misty wanted to catch that auto shit. It's not even a fucking water type. Oddish are great. 
I, I love having a uh, vile plume. Even gloom, like it's poison. Like if you use acid with gloom, that does a lot of fucking damage. Mm -hmm. The po a lot of Pokemon. Some of my favorite types in the game included uh, poison and grass. Poison types had a pretty rough time. Uh, yeah, they did, but they still... You can still nuke any Pokemon in the game by poisoning it and just letting it kill itself. Oh, 100%. People got really, uh, really smart as time went on as far as online battles go. I was playing Sword and Shield not too long ago, and some fucker threw out poison spikes for the fortress, and then he swapped over to Snorlax, and just kept fucking resting. And of course, there's spikes on the ground, so every time he, one of my Pokemon would die, I'd go to throw a new one out, and it would immediately get poisoned. And it, even if I could do a large amount of damage with Snorlax, he would just fucking rest. Yep. And my whole team fucking died. It was ridiculous. I'm over here with, like, powerful sweepers, like, oh, I'm gonna beat this guy. Didn't even fucking kill one Pokemon. Yeah, definitely the main few points to how to speedrun this game revolve around a few basic things. Um, like, number one, there's a ton of battles in this game that you don't need to do. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can skip a lot of battles in this game. Um, that's obviously, like, one huge piece of speedrunning. The other thing, too, is using only one Pokemon. Because if you only have one Pokemon to worry about and you power level the shit out of one Pokemon, then you can just steamroll the potions, you know what I mean? I'm so glad they uh, thought about uh, the psychic types a little bit more for Gen 2, because they just ran rampant in Gen 1. I, I never understood why they made psychics so fucking ridiculously overpowered in the first generation. It made no fucking sense. It's like, hey, let's give Psychic, uh, 90 base power. That sounds like a good idea. It's like, let's also make Kadabra fucking very, very, very fast, and let's also give him a fucking savage special stat. Oh shit, that's too bad, just... I tried to wreck my shit. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh man. Like that just adds to more to what I was saying. You have Butterfree, which is not that strong of a Pokemon stat wise, and it's using it's not even a psychic type. So it doesn't even get the extra power from using a type that is its own self, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's able to fucking one hit KO something with confusion. You hit too hard, ass.
Did you have, like explore the whole cave? Yep. Like you got all like the little Pokeball things? Mostly. I may have left one behind, but it was like a fucking potion or something. The only two that are really important in that cave is the rare candy and the moonstone. I just got the moonstone. Did you get the rare candy? Yep. You good to go? Send out a Geo dude. Oh man. Get a magic carp. <laughs> uh magic carp is gonna beat the piss out of that Geo dude. That Geo dude doesn't even stand a chance. You know, if Magic Carp had a water type moved to begin with, it would actually have done okay. It's fucking stats are pretty terrible though. <laughs> if you ever actually just looked at its stats, it's fucking awful, dude. Not great. I think we're gonna call this run once I beat this, uh, this dude. Well, I just got to Vermilion City, so I am fine with that. Yeah, man, you're burning right through this game. I've only got one gym badge. Spent too much time grinding against weak-ass wild Pokemon. I think you're probably right. You're probably right, but also, I was able to beat, uh, Brock in spite of the fact that he knocked out my Squirtle. And I wouldn't have been able to had I not grinded it out. Yeah, for sure. I mean, here's the thing though, like, you have four or five Pokemon right now that are all, like, pretty pretty good level. Um, I only have, like, I only had two that were, like, a little bit higher level than that by the time I got there. Yeah. If you like my content, please consider giving it a like. If you want to see more, make sure you hit subscribe and click that bell notification so you don't miss out.